Hello everyone. In this Emerge Prep video, I'm going to show you some essentials that I always travel with in my vehicle and with a backpack through the winter. You know, if, if your car breaks down, like seriously, or you can't get gas from a gas station, or things are just out of gas, or whatnot, you got your family in the car, what are you going to do? So when whenever I travel, I have a certain amount of these elements always in a Tupperware container that gets changed out every season, believe it or not, or at least twice a year, uh, it turns into a winter-based um, tote that goes in the back of my vehicle to um, summer-based totes. And I'm going to take you over some of these elements, quick snapshots in this video, so you can just wrap your head around, you know, two things that you could do. And every time you have a little backpack or something full of some items that you can travel with every time you take a road trip for your own safety and your own sanity and your own peace of mind, because that's what this is about. This is not a you know, uh, serious, you know, military dropped in the middle of uh, nowhere with one match kind of, kind of scenario. These are scenarios that you can, uh, honestly give yourself peace of mind by just having a little preparation with totes in the vehicle that you go over once a year or twice a year. And then you have a backpack that is filled with elements. So what do I got? Okay. I know you're all looking at this thing. This is a 22. I'm a restricted and non-restricted firearms holder that that you know stays by the the law and whatnot not like all of these bills that they're trying to stop people from having firearms I'm a, I'm a registered shooter and um by the law and this thing is called a 22 takedown okay ruger level thing and this thing comes apart and can fit easily in a backpack so that you can travel with it now concealed arms is not allowed okay so just letting you know that um, this is not a thing that you should be doing because it's that's illegal actually it has to be shown on the outside of your pack you're canoeing you're camping and all the rest of the fun stuff so it must be shown on the outside of the pack we have elements um, that is a safety kit here this is like an emergency kit that I built on my own and I can take you over some of these things and what's in that essentially but this is a winter based um, thing for going in the outdoors your car breaks down stuff like that so let's let's go through some things here you know Water is really important, okay? Hydration, heat, food, you know, and peace of mind, you know? Um, so what you want to do is you would want some sort of water container. That stays in my vehicle all the time. That thing can really fill out, fill up when you need it. And if you don't have, you don't trust the water necessarily from a tap from a gas station where you got it because you're off the, the grid or something like that, well, they've got water tablets and these water tablets have a certain dis, um, thing in it that can get rid of you know they, they call it beaver fever actually it's like guardia and bacteria and viruses and you can put this in and it clarifies the water it's always good to have these and these are each a tablet so your water's you know done there um you also in, in like it's a winter thing right so you're going to be cold you'll you might want to have a bunch of hot paws things that you can crack and put in your um your your gloves or your boots if you have to you know go a far distance with regards to heat heat's important so you should have a blankets i have this here at the polar fleece that's in there in here in this tote but i also have always 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 a um a sleeping bag in my vehicle in the back it's in the back right now and even more stuff but that's really essential to be warm if your car goes your battery goes or your family has to be on the side of the road for a while you've got to leave them warm because temperature drops fast just like in your home and there's not much insulation on a car so you got to be really prepared for that so let, that, let's that's the scenario that we're going with here so if you if you got to go and you got to find help your power is running out you might want to have a battery pack you know these things i think i got this in a beer case actually bud light <laughs> that for you. but these things can charge your 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 batteries of, of your cell phone and whatnot for communication highly important to have these sort of things because in the day and age of gadgets and being in communication with our car that the battery goes you're left to your digital devices and what you got left in there right so if you don't you might want to invest in these simple little thing like this which is a am fm based radio remember these things guys and it works fantastic and i've got the batteries in there that you can have and this thing is fantastic it's analog and you can know what's going on i'll put some links down below actually in uh for all most of these items so you can consider getting i, I know i got that on amazon and a couple of these other items to help you to quickly do that it doesn't take a lot of money to have peace of mind so and these things can last forever so continuing on so we got hydration we got some heat elements. Say you actually had to, 
you know, light a fire. You might want to have some, I got this really neat thing actually. I always travel with toilet paper rolls with lint from my dryer. I don't throw the lint out. I build these fire starters, which are fantastic. And you can have a little baggie of tea lights. Um, there's actually, this is a, um, a special um, thing for starting fires. Um, it's, it's a really wax-based system. Here it is. It's called Henna Flint in the Match system. But have it, these things go up so well in the wood, even if it's damp a bit, can go up a lot quicker if you have a, something that can help a fire starter. So that's really super important. So you're getting hungry now, you know, sort of thing. So it's always good to have a couple of them. I always have easy to open cans because if you don't have a can opener, what are you going to do? We've got some chicken breast from Costco can and peaches. And I'm telling you, that could last you a day with you and your your family just hydration and a little bit of blood sugar it's really important when blood sugar drops your consciousness can go you can make more um you can get more anxiety so it's good to have that and if you're actually going away from your car and you're leaving your family like within a mile to go to the gas station it's always good to have these like um walkie talkies talk about it's motorola's that can go for like a mile two mile three mile radius they're fantastic really good better than cell phones if your cell phone's out now, I know you want to get back to the cool things, like you got the 22, but you know, that's, that's, uh, for self protection and, you know, hunting and stuff like that, you know, game and things. I don't promote violence, you know, against people and stuff like that. But in, in the situation that things go down, people can get ruthless. We all know that. We have to be prepared. So, you know, you can check this out. This is a CRK, uh, machete. It's called a cuck. It's cuckery. I think it's a, a special blade. Cuckery. Very, very serious thing. And you carry this. I don't think anyone's going to be messing with you, you know. And if you got to chop some wood, essentially, like a machete to start a fire, well, now you got the elements to start the fire to help your family keep warm and whatnot. And that's really an excellent thing to have, and it's lightweight. And if you got to sit around in the winter, well, it's good to have one of these suckers. Because sitting on logs, not good. As soon as you get cold, it's it. I always travel, believe it or not, with a... Um, this, this came in a little pack and it's got a little bit of a cushion and in it and you can put it on anything and then sit on the ground or sit on a log or something that's already frozen so that the cold doesn't go into your body. You know, that's what this is all about. This is a winter based activity that, you know, you and your family can survive to get the, the, the help that you need. So we've covered a lot of these elements. I like to travel with toothbrushes. Uh, this is a bag of nuts and um, uh, sugar, real fruit sort of things. You know, you saw there's a little bit of medical stuff. Don't forget your pooch. I always travel with some bones for uh, Mika, right baby? Yeah, you always like those. You gotta make sure, and I always got a leash for you too, little beater, so just in case we gotta go and I don't have one. But bones for your dog, your animals are very important because you know, when, when they're hungry, you know, that it makes it really hard on you. So, let's before I go into this medical kit, which I'll save to the end, and um, the elements in it. Um, a little bit, a couple more things in my tote. I have this thing is really awesome for really cutting uh, brush and stuff like that to really start a fire. Now I do recommend um, low impact and finding broken sticks already around, cleaning them up, and and then grabbing them to build a fire, not to hurt and and, and damage um, healthy trees. But you know, in the situation that you have to, it's a consideration with something like that. You also. You also have to dig something so that you can, um, you know, go to the washroom and whatnot. You have an axe to split wood all the time. You know, when you're cooking over things, you want to have things like that. And matches always have matches. Now, I'm not just into myself, you know. For others and stuff, creature comforts are important. So always having some toilet paper, you know, and whatnot. And, you know, the good old chapstick when your lips are going, I'm telling you, it can be a world of difference and whatnot. But thinking about other people, I travel with a wetsuit, okay. And um, this is a neoprene that can keep your body somewhat warm and whatnot if you have to go into the water or the damp. Now, why am I leading in this direction? Well, sometimes you're going to have to, you know, help other people. And I'm always ready to help other people. It's very important to me. Um, raised uh, traditionally like that. And, you know, having having rope that you can tie off wounds, that's really good. This is glow in the dark, actually. Having a throw bag. If you know what a throw bag is, this whole thing, you grab one side and you can whip it onto someone on the river that's stuck out there. Say there's a, a flood or whatnot, you can help them to pull them out of the river and you can be safe also. It's always good to do that. That's a canoeing thing. You, it's a law that you have to always have a throw bag in a boat. So it's kind of like my um, thing because guess what, guys? 
Um, I was born on the water. That's why I have a canoe paddle, Canada, which I'm really proud of. So continuing on here, you know, I've got, when it takes, you know, you're traveling and whatnot, I always travel with a hammock. This bear butts are fantastic. That, that has to go in the link below that are hammocks, amazing hammocks uh, that you can then rest because when your body's tired, you do need to recover and being off the ground, it could help when you need to rest if you're traveling and your car is broken down. I have a lot of other things, hats and that and things like that, but let's get the fun stuff here that's really useful sort of thing that is always in my pack. So we have a multi-tool. Multi-tools are essential all the time. This has got all the good stuff in it. Pull things tight, you know, cut, screw things in, whatever is necessary to help whoever's there. This one's a little intense, okay? I got this from a First Nation powwow, and essentially, <laughs> you may not know this, but um, when you have to, um, when you say a deer's killed, you got to separate the uh, the skin and the, the fur from the animal carcass, and this is it. And that, that thing on top pulls the tendons and rips. This is a, you know, this is a pro processing knife, essentially, and fantastic for doing that for deer and moose and um, many different animals, actually. But there's a lot of different things that you can uh, do to, to, um, uh, to process animals. This is a, let's go, a light, because lights are good for reflecting and uh, for signaling. And that can be um, the, the thing that gets you found, actually, if um, you're very serious and you're stuck in a ditch or something like that and getting the attention of people if it's dark and your car's gone but you can't get out and you're pinned, it could be a lifesaver. So, and this is a really neat gadget. I, I really like this thing. This is really unique. And it's in that concept. Have you ever done any um, uh, looking online on Amazon? This is a about the size size of a business card. And it's, it's got a bunch of um, fishing line in it. You're getting the gist. And this, this element has a bunch of things. It's got fishing hooks, as you see. It's got certain things to tie off. Um, say you've got a wound or you need to um, tighten something. It's got a saw. It's got um, actual... Um, arrowheads for fishing if you had to or self-defense and the same thing with this one too this is your spear it's got little needles here and thread not necessarily for sewing but if you got to sew up a wound and suture a wound all of these things are essential and can come in handy and it's lightweight and easy to get around because what are you going to do you get a fresh wound you've got to close those things up you know um, super super important and again, we have more things with a saw. If I didn't have the other saw, that I still have this to get wood. I like traveling with odds and ends. But we're getting to the, the part where medical is important. My medical is a little low, but there's enough. We've got a, a nine hour uh, based uh, candle here, which you saw that I had a bunch of candles over there. I've got flashlights, which are essential, and flashlights and whistles to, to gain signals and stuff like that. You know, really what you want to deduce here is what you don't have. And essentially, I don't have any water, and I would have to locate water. Then, if the wound's really serious, that could be a problem, but I've got enough Band-Aids and sutures and um, gauze, and I've even got some peroxide that I always travel with, and a medical bandage. I like to always have um, one garbage bag at least, because you never know. It's funny when you find out when what you don't have when you need it. Um, again, waterproofed. A lighter, some of my other lighters are more loose. Uh, we've got a watch. We've got, I've got a um, flasher so that, you know, if, you know, you need to get the attention and the battery's working, it's always good to check things out to make sure that things are working. Are my batteries working for my FM radio? Amber, I should check that. Uh, do I have an extra batteries for my walkie talkies? I should check that. All of these elements come together where you're either prepared or you're not. And like, like think about this one. You always get, you get these fear things here in Canada, um, in Ontario, Canada, the ticks. How are you going to get it out? Well, you, you, if you've done any research, you got to use your tweet 
squeezer and get in and pull it out right below its head of the surface and then pull it out because you could leave the head in there. So having tweezers, I always have tweezers. I do not want a tick bite. That uh, The disease, Lyme disease, is horrible and um, life-threatening, so you don't want to have that. This is one of the things, this is a long time ago I started that. So as you see, you can build your own kits. This kit, this um, little pack here, I think I got it from um, some... I'm not sure what this was, but it was like something like a GoPro kit. And I'm sure you, your kids or you might have extra little packs that you can consider. Start building things up with the things that are kicking around the house. Start putting things in there. Some forks, some knives, some, some candles, um, some, some lighters. And all of this together can help you to have more peace of mind when emergency and preparation is the most important for you and your family. If you got anything out of this, you found any useful information out of this, and please remember to subscribe down below uh, and you know leave any comments I want to talk to everyone I'm starting to grow this channel I'm really excited about meeting everyone and helping and I'll dig in some more but I just wanted to give a little bit of information of the sort of things that I have with it for a winter breakdown for in my vehicle all the time that switches up summer and winter and a backpack all right Come thank on. you very much and hey let's check out Mika the wonder dog she's my winter dog everyone says be well guys peace love you baby <laughs>